Um, so, uh, my name is Rahul Buman. I'm uh, part of corporate development in Tech Mahindra. Uh, we are a technology services organization. Um, we are about $5 billion in revenue, and uh, we are in about 90 countries. We have deep AI expertise within our teams, and uh, we have a view of a lot of industries and a lot of customers across the globe. And we do uh, service our customers across the spectrum, right, from model development to deployment, and also areas around data preparation and productionizing these models as well. So when we look at technology, you know, uh, we don't look at it from a technology like a technology. We look at it from what a functionality is from a business standpoint. And uh, I'm more customer facing uh, on the core development side. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit more from my perspective on what I speak to the customer and then how we engage them in terms of the functionality side of the technology, right? Uh, so right now I'm going to talk about uh, what we have done for one of our telecom customers in Asia. Uh, so this is a truck roll prediction problem, right? If you think of truck rolls, this is like dispatching an, a, a technician on a truck to the field. This is a very expensive proposition. And our customer was spending anywhere between 50 to $100 million yearly in, in, in uh, truck roll activity, in order of which they're seeing a significant amount of truck rolls which are not needed on the ground. So the problem statement was, how can you predict better whether a truck roll is needed or not to the customer premises? And uh, our customer was, uh, was doing you know, three different businesses. Uh, one is they have a fixed line. Uh, uh, business that, the, that they have to the businesses and small and medium-sized businesses. They have a broadband and they also have fiber. So, the, so the, the capacity for us is to ensure that we bring an intelligence into the system where truck rolls can be avoided when they are really avoidable. And when we look at the business problem, we are also looking at how do we start integrating the model that we develop into a whole business process, right? I think that's, that's clearly the difference that, uh, that, that someone from a business standpoint is looking at uh, in terms of transform transforming part of their business process itself. So typically what happened in this customer segment was a customer will call a call center and then they have many complaints in terms of the dial tone is not there, the internet is slow. So there's something called a first of uh, house, a front of house call center that people will pick up this call and they will do some, some of the basic diagnostics to see if they can, they can try to rectify this problem. If they're unable to rectify it, then the call center goes to the second line of conversation, which is what they call back of house, which is what typically we also call L2 support. And then even if that back of the house is unable to solve the problem, it goes to a field dispatch officer, and then the truck roll gets activated. So that's the business process that we are looking at as we got into this particular area. So before we, before we came in, the, 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 the thought process was, is there really a play for AI to, to add value in this whole environment, right? So we, we started looking at an one year worth of data, historical data. This is based on their enterprise systems of all the conversations that they got from their customers, and then the service ticketing, and the field dispatch, and the truck rolls comments all combined into this enterprise application. So when we looked at the data, we did an n-gram analysis, right? Very high level view of what we are seeing from the common nodes within this enterprise system. So when we saw the n-gram analysis, you look at it, the sample customer closure comments would be pretty long, completed, no fault phone or network working on the pillar. Okay, tested customer premise, fastest, okay. It's a bunch of things that go in there. So n-gram analysis essentially gave us more information that we can decipher more easy, is it like no fault found, clear dial tone, fastest pass. So it kind of gave us information whether there is, there is a problem in the, on the ground. The problem is whether the trucks are getting rolled when there was no need for the trucks to be rolled. So we identified that about 14% of truck rolls were resulted in no fault found. So which is a significant advantage that we can provide to our customers by bringing in some of the predictive modeling in this whole business process. And when you look at the data, right, you know, the, the customer was more looking at data from the test and diagnostics and, 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 and network and health alarms, but we kind of broadened the scope of the data that we would like to look at when we start predicting some of these needs within the truck roll itself. 
So the way we looked at, at, at this particular problem from a, from a technical standpoint, you know, uh, obviously one is on the data side, right? Uh, you know, the, the data preparation, data massaging, data integration, ensuring that we have the right quality of data. When we go into many of the customer engagements, we typically see about 60 to 70 percent of, of our time ends up in the data preparation side of things. And also when you look at AI, AI means many things to many people. And it's also in a hype cycle. You know, uh, you know, people want some very, very quick results with significant advantages. You know, from our vantage point, when we look at AI, we see it as a mix of technologies, right? You know, we have RPA, robotic process automation on one side, chatbots on the other side, data science on one side. There are things happening on the edge side of AI. So it's a mix of a lot of these activities. So when we look at a POC, our, our angle of conversation is, can we provide a quick ROI by doing this POC. So it's a three-step process that we do as a company for a quick return on, investment, uh, return on investment case for any other customer. One is the data prep. Second is driverless AI, which is where we have a significant value. Uh, you know, essentially, we don't need to bring in a lot of data scientists to provide that value add to the customer, at least within a POC process. And then the last uh, point is, how do we productionize some of those models? which gets integrated into the business process. So when we, when we operationalize the POC, the customer is seeing a return on some of the changes that we brought in within that whole business process. And Acumos is one of our platform that we co-developed with uh, at and And it's an open source product that is available and run by Linux Foundation today. And this product is essentially on the deployment and the model maintenance piece within the whole you know, data science purview that we kind of play. So coming back to this problem of truck roll uh, you know, within our customer segment, so this is the data set that we are looking at. Uh, we are looking at, uh, you know, it's, it's a time series data. It's a data from, from, from different enterprise applications. We have different systems of record. So it's a whole lot of big data, unstructured plus structured coming into play. And then the driverless AI piece, uh, you know, is where we used to essentially build the models on top of this data. If you look at you know, the, the kind of data we are, we are looking at, you know, this is an area which customer wasn't even spending time before. Agent behavior, you know, have we, have agent behavior is something that we felt was a critical element in, in really looking at, at, at predictability of, of what a truck roll is needed or not. The ticket profile itself, right? So the, so the driverless AI is essentially is used by us to kind of build these models to ensure that you know, we have got the, the, the right propensity uh, to, to come in and, uh, you know, into the system. So we got the one month of tickets data, which is about million rows coming in. Um, we got the driverless AI in terms of preparing the model itself. And then we looked at how can we compare it with the past historical data with the results that we are looking at. And, and what we have seen, this is broadly what we are seeing as a summary, right? So, so the, the product that we used, uh, you know, kind of used XGBoost as, as the model to, uh, to, to kind of work on this particular training data set. Right, uh, we looked at the, you know, we looked at, when we look at the iterations, we did about 32 iterations within the driverless AI product to essentially come to the quality from a POC standpoint where our customer and us are, are looking at the data and saying, okay, this makes sense to start putting this POC into a small production environment. And, and, and with very quick steps, you know, this, this whole activity was less than two days for us in terms of using driverless AI or else it's, it's pushing a lot of data scientists, you know, working on this particular area, which is a lot of expensive and time-taking process. And, and without adding intermediate steps in, in, in ensembling any more models, with one model, we were able to get about 93% prediction. No truck roll, no truck roll. Actual truck roll, 91% actual truck roll. So overall, this engagement kind of brought us into this conversation where the customer was seeing close to $10 million worth of savings essentially by, by limiting the needed truck rolls that go to the market. And the way we did that, thank you. And the way we did that is, so the business process now came to play. So the customer calls, as soon as the customer calls, it goes to the first of line house, which is an L1 ticket. And as soon as the L1 ticket is getting initiated, it goes into this model. It goes into the model which predicts whether it needs to go to an L2 model, L2, L2 uh, ticketing uh, area or not. If it says it needs to go to the L2 ticketing area, it goes to the back office and the L2 ticket is being looked at. And that, both that information is being pumped back into the model and essentially giving them information whether a field dispatch officer needs to be really pushed out into the, into the, into the field or not. 
Um, so, so this is uh, you know this is an area where we are seeing good amount of traction, especially many of the telco customers, customers uh, with the broadband, you know, are looking at finding ways to limit the truck rolls that they want to sell, send into the field, and and uh, we felt, you know, using driverless AI is 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 a is a very interesting and fast approach, at least from a POC standpoint, and giving faster ROI to our customers. Thank you.